Today I am with Padam Shri Sridhar Vembu, CEO and founder of the Zoho Corporation, and it's a dream to interview him. So we are not going to waste time with the numbers and business figures, which is everywhere. We'll try to learn something from him, which will be help to us and our viewers for lifetime. Welcome to the Bruce. Namaste. Thank Sir. you for having me. So let's start with the COVID. We have seen when the every company was crying. Zoho registered a amazing growth. In UAE market, it was more than forty-five percent growth registered, and all over the world also. So, what was the magic? Well, we invest in our employees and our customers long term. And for example, one during the very early months of the pandemic, we did this where we rolled out an emergency subscription assistance program, where we waived the subscription for companies that were struggling due to that shutdowns all that. Mm-hmm. It has taken advantage of about fifteen to twenty thousand organizations worldwide, but. and customers really appreciated it no other company was doing it really most important they all came back in a couple of months when their business improved the conditions improved right. they came back and that also fueled our expansion that in the immediate aftermath because word of mouth spread all that mm. so it is really that long term thinking so we didn't know when we announced the dsap all over the last all that we didn't think the you know we didn't weren't calculating that this will benefit us we wanted to help those customers But it indirectly ended up helping fuel our growth later because the customers, happy customers, spread the word. Definitely. So Zoho for startups or even for any businessman is a very ideal company where you started. Usually, when people grow, they went to Silicon Valley. You came back from there. It's a reverse. You reverse the whole theory, yeah. and your life is style. You are living in a village. It's like it's all a crazy idea for anyone. <laughs> so how you are uh, taking this thing? Yeah. It is. Uh, the think different so mm. you know i why did i move to a village was i fundamentally like living there that's one but uh, also there is a pragmatic sense future talent for our business mm. for our industry uh, technology in general is going to come from these rural areas simply because that's where the kids are born mm. as you know in major urban centers affluent populations the birth rates are plunging yes. very low So, if you want to take, you know, create a talent pool in the future, it has to be in these areas, and also in the Indian context, it helps bridge the rural-urban divide, it helps bridge the uh, rich and poor divide, and all the social divides. So, it's important to invest in these. So, it's both a social mission and a pragmatic business mission where we go where the talent is, and in and in general, I like the space of uh, living there and and uh, surrounded by nature all that. So usually people are uh, harvesting the crops in the village. He is harvesting the talent in the village. <laughs> <laughs> nurturing, the nurturing the talent. Nurturing the talent. Yes. So if we talk about the startups, uh, like I was just going through a video that unicorn is a is a figure which is a mythological figure. No yeah. one has seen unicorn, and so many big bubbles of unicorns, and yeah. every they are everywhere in the India. Not only India, all over the world map. and again we have seen the repercussions also hai na a small hit they are blast gone so how, what do your advice to any startup in any field not only the it yeah. so uh, we we have to forget the bubble time hmm. normal economic times in very normal say in economy it's not very easy to simply become a unicorn in 2 years 3 years only yeah, it's just very artificial oh. growth and uh, so it's important to keep that long term focus anybody entering business have to have a very long term focus in order to really succeed and that was forgotten during the time so it's better for founders to have that reality check and go back to their original vision mm. think long term long term there are huge opportunities everywhere in mm. india and middle east everywhere because the, this is that uh, the demographic dividend that yeah. i talked about these are the areas where population is still uh, the, the birth rates are still re- decent Uh, even though they have come down everywhere much better than say uh, us or europe or japan mm. so that's why the growth i see future growth is coming here we say optimistic can do well but it has to be a long term focus great and if we talk about the artificial technology and chat gp everything is so there is a two part one is the personalization of technology which zoho is doing one is the manipulation of the user through the technology Uh, we have seen during this twitter yeah. when elon musk ke cover he closed so many accounts so as a champion in this area how you are seeing the role of technology to manipulate of to grow the yeah. hum- civilization or humanity 
There are two parts to this. One, mm -hmm. of course, the advertising, the whole the marketing related, mm -hmm. privacy violation, all that manipulation to make people click on ads, all yeah. that. That's one part. And the second part is the whole ideology, political ideology driven. And both we have to be uh, careful about because tech companies shouldn't be in this politics. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and we have taken a strong stance pro-privacy, pro-user rights. So we have not built it on a, you know, uh, getting clicks from the customers to yeah. show them yeah. ads. So, and that's important because SaaS software and that don't mix in the opinion. When customer trusts you with the data, lots of the data, the uh, responsibility, is, is, more, important. Uh, responsibility uh, is more. Hmm. So you cannot, you know, misuse the data to show them ads. And yeah. that, unfortunately, that, that lesson has to be learned by uh, the industry overall. And uh, in terms of ideologies, it's better for the companies to stay out of that fray and focus on serving the users and customers Great. rather than trying to indoctrinate them. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh, recently, we have seen uh, two things like Zoho School is your one initiative, your CSI initiative, and we have seen your role to helping the government also. You are a part of many technical committees and all this. What else we can see you in future? Um, primarily, I'm focused on uh, Two things, of course, growing our company in the global market, the opportunity is huge. So the growth objective is one. We think we can be 10 times, uh, 50 times bigger yes. in the next 15, 20 years. That's one. And the second is the social rural development angle. I'm very focused on how we can take development to our district level, particularly rural districts, and how we can invest in creating talent, which fuels our development process, which in the Indian context is very important because we have so many so much of the population is still rural. How do we take that there? Hmm. And our uh, beloved President Abdul Kalam had this vision called Pura, right. uh, providing urban amenities in rural areas. That is a very good blueprint. And I want to see how we can operationalize, execute that vision in rural areas. When your ideal is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, nothing is impossible. Hmm. More power to you. Thanks for taking us. Like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to get notification from the Brew News.